Hi and welcome to our short training video on how to uh, initiate a, um, a conference call using Skype for Business. Uh, so we're just going to quickly show you here how, um, how you can actually use Skype for Business to um, make a, a video call or a voice call uh, with multiple people. Um, and this also applies to the chat functionality within Skype for Business. Uh, so you can see here that I'm logged in uh, just with our demo Skype for Business account um, and you can see that we've got two contacts in here at the moment. Um, so I'm actually going to be uh, speaking to Liam and Steve in our uh, conversation today. So I'm just going to grab Steve's um, account and add it into the favourites here. Uh, so we'll see Steve pop up there with us. Um, so basically what you can do is you can hold the control key and you can select can select multiple users within your Skype window. So if we click on Steve Dawson's name there, we can then hit control and we can click on Liam. And you can see they're both highlighted now. Uh, if I right click either one of those now, I can either send an IM, I can start a conference call, I can start a video call, okay? Or I can schedule a meeting or a couple of other things. Um, so for the conference call, we simply just go and click for a Skype call. And you see now that we're ringing the three participants, waiting for them to come online. Okay, and we've just seen Liam pop up there. Uh, we should be able to say, hello Liam, and we should even hear him reply back if he unmutes his microphone there, which we can see is muted. Um, but we are still waiting for Steve to pick the call up. So you can easily see who's been connected in and who hasn't. Um, there's some extra features under here uh, where you can enable your video, for example. <clears throat> okay, so we can see that that's my video there. If I'm happy with what I'm seeing there, I can start my video. Uh, and that would display it up for Liam to see there. Um, so he would be seeing that on his screen now. Um, and alternatively as well, you can click your arrow here and minimize that out of your display. You can bring yourself back in or you can disable your video again just by clicking there. <clears throat> um, and then to end the call, it's as simple as just to hang up. Okay. You can choose to rejoin if you like. Um, or obviously we're in a conversation window now, so we could obviously uh, go into here and say, hey guys, uh, and we can see then whether they're going to have time for us to potentially rejoin. Okay, <clears throat> so you can come back in here and then try and reinitiate the call. Um, and that's that's basically it, guys. Um, there's there's not really a lot, much to that at all. Um, just to sort of reiterate uh, the function again and how you actually uh, get to the conference call is you can click your first contact and then you can hold the control key and click as many other contacts as you like. And then you simply right click with one of those contacts and you can come here and say start a conference call now using Skype or start a video call or send an IM. So send an IM, that's just sending message to the whole group. And that's the uh, quick overview of the conference calling functionality. I uh, hope you found that informative. Um, please check back at our website um, for further training videos. Uh, thank you very much for your time.